Local news that matters on Local 22 News. At this place in history, we're in Salisbury on Lake Dunmore with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, what are we doing here today? Amanda, I am so excited. We are going to learn about early glassmaking in Vermont right here on this site. So we've asked Bill Powers, who's a local historian, uh, to come and tell us more about uh, what happened right here. Well, here back in 1812, we had the establishment of the Lake Dunmore Glass Factory. They produced glass here from about eight, late 1812 to the early part of uh, 1817. It was a good time to do and establish a glass factory here because uh, you had the War of 1812. A lot of commerce from Europe was, uh, was not available. And so it lasted in, until about 1817. There was a fire around the 1815, 16 time frame and then it, it folded after that. However, you had some investors come here in about 1830s, and the glass factory was established again. It became uh, the new Lake Dunmore glass factory, and that lasted until the middle of the 1840s, when economic times and competition from other glass factories forced them out of business. What made this a good spot for the glass factory? It was a great spot because of all the wood that you had around here that you could fuel the furnaces for, to make the uh, glass. You also had sand here for a while for the uh, clay for the pots in which the glass was made came from Moncton. So it was kind of central. Prior to that, you'd had to get the, uh, your materials from faraway sources. The glass company only made glass and it did have a fine aqua background to it. And you'll find that in some of the very old barns around here. And it was advertised for sale. It was sold out of Middlebury. The glass factory was bankrolled by the Farmers Bank in Troy, New York, and they issued uh, a number of uh, banknotes, and they were issued from the period of 1812 to about 1814. You had your professional glass makers here, and so they made uh, items on their own, like a cologne bottle has got a pontil mark on the bottom of it, and that was probably blown into a mold. This is probably made at the primary glass factory here on Lake Dunmore. They had a subsidiary glass factory in East Middlebury that made uh, beakers and containers for the Middlebury College Medical School back in the 18 teens, and here you have some slag glass that you can find around Lake Dunmore today. These parts are collected by my sons back in the 1990s. At this place in history, 